going on guys Victor here I'm gonna show you how to fillet up this beautiful scamp grouper right here this is about the average size we catch here in South Florida and we're gonna be showcasing the six inch deck stream flexible fillet right here so this knife actually comes with the sheath right here makes it nice protect your blade for smaller fish I've always been a fan of a smaller blade you just have a lot more control and a big blade can be kind of awkward for a small fish so what I'm gonna start out right here I always like to feel where the head meat of any fish ends, and this scamp is right about there. Okay, we're gonna follow it around that peck fin, over the rib cage, down to the belly. I'm gonna take my fish, line them up with the edge of the fillet table, take this blade, and just go along the outside edge of this scamp grouper. Okay, take my blade, put it back on the fish's spine, and just work my way up really making sure that I'm on the spine. When you lift up your fillet, make sure you're not leaving a lot of meat. It should be pretty translucent, translucent and you should really hear your knife running along bone. Okay, now scamp grouper, snapper, all these big bottom fish species usually have a set of pin bones right here. They lie right along the center of the fish. I'm gonna take my blade and point up a little bit and you're gonna hear a little snap. And that's me freeing up the pin bones right there. Now, I'm gonna take my knife, go over the rib cage, and go along this side of the backbone right here. You guys see this backbone, it's raised. You wanna point the tip of your knife down as you go. And just keep making these little subtle passes along the rib cage, over the spine. Once again, along that rib cage, down the length of the fish. And you do that until there's almost nothing left. Make one final cut, and that's all there is to it. And you see what I mean when I say, you really want to take your time and not just get your blade in there aimlessly. You want to make sure you're running a long bone. Once again, I'm going to do the same thing. Feel for that head meat, make a little incision, go down around the pec fin, down to the belly. I always find it much easier to work from the head to the tail. Some people like to work from the tail to the head, you gotta do whatever works for you. You guys see that my blade, when I make these outside cuts, is very superficially in there. Cause I just wanna set myself up for success and outline my fillet. I'll do the same thing I did before. Knife on the fish's spine. Make sure I'm on those bones. And just separate it until I get to about the center. Until I get to the backbone. Once again, we gotta get through these pin bones. Tilt your knife slightly up, and you can always hear it when you get through it. Now, still firmly grasping with my left hand, over that rib cage, down on the other side of the backbone. Over the rib cage, down on the other side of the backbone. And you keep just making those passes, and the better you get, the less lime, it, the less time it'll take you to finish your fillet. Look at that. This is why this fish is coveted by so many people. It's got almost no bloodline and it's just pure white meat. I'm gonna line my scamp grouper right up against the edge of the fillet table. Take my blade. When I skin fish, I have a slight angle. I'm not completely flush. I give it a little bit of an angle. Push away from me and I separate my fillet from the skin. And one thing that really helps is you guys see my left hand? It's right by the blade here. It's trailing the entire time so I can feel what I'm doing. Flip it around, bam. Now the only thing we got left to do, and like I said earlier, you see how that fish has almost no bloodline? That's why it's favored by so many. Those pin bones we broke through earlier, I'm going to take my knife. I can feel where they run and where they end. Go on one side of them, go on the other side of them, cut them out, and that's all there is to it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this knife, I'm going to have it linked below for you guys. I really like it for small fish. It's got a flexible blade. It gives you a lot of control and it's it's just an overall really good knife. So check it out. Link in the description box below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.